In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about cathode ray oscilloscope, wherein we will see the introduction, block diagram of a CRO, cathode ray tube or CRT, measurement of voltage and frequency, and lastly, the component testing using a CRO. Let's start with the introduction. Every single electronic circuit consists of multiple components connected to each other. At every point, we have to test the working of a circuit with the help of some parameters like voltage, current, dissipated power, etc. We also study the waveforms of these parameters to decide the working of a circuit. A very commonly used electronic instrument for this testing is a cathode ray oscilloscope, CRO. It is a widely used measuring instrument in college laboratories as well as in industries. Let's study the block diagram of this CRO now. It is made up of different blocks such as vertical amplifier, delay line, trigger circuit, time-based generator, horizontal amplifier, cathode ray tube, CRT. The first block is a vertical amplifier. The input signal to be displayed on a screen of the CRO is applied to the vertical amplifier. This amplifier amplifies the weak signals so that they produce measurable deflection on the screen. Vertical amplifier decides the sensitivity and bandwidth of the CRO. Its output is given as input to delay line block. The next block is the delay line. We know that the input signal is applied to the horizontal as well as the vertical deflection plates. But before reaching the horizontal deflection plates, the signal passes through different blocks such as trigger circuit, time-based generator and the horizontal amplifier. Thus, a small delay occurs and the signal reaches the vertical deflection plates before the horizontal plates. But this causes the distortion of a signal on the screen. To avoid this situation, a small amount of delay is added using the delay line block after the vertical amplifier. The third block is a trigger circuit. This circuit generates trigger pulses which keep the synchronization between the input signal and the horizontal deflection circuit. The next block is the time-based generator. Time-based generator generates sawtooth waveforms and applies it between the horizontal deflection plates. As the sawtooth wave varies linearly with time, the movement of the spot on the screen takes place at a constant velocity. Hence, x-axis of the CRO can be calibrated in terms of time and input can be displayed with respect to time. The last block is a horizontal amplifier. The strength of a sawtooth signal available at the output of a time-based generator is not sufficient. Thus, before applying it to the horizontal plates, the signal is amplified using a horizontal amplifier. Every instrument needs a power supply for it to work. The power supply section of a CRO generates two levels of DC voltage. A low voltage is used for the working of electronic circuits and a high voltage level is used as the anode for CRT. The high voltage generated is of the order of 1000 to 1500 volts. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's see the most important part, cathode ray tube. The entire CRT is enclosed in an evacuated glass envelope. It consists of three main sections, electron gun assembly, deflection plates and the phosphor screen. The first section is an electron gun assembly. The waveform that we see on the screen is nothing but a ray of electrons generated by the electron gun assembly. Electron gun assembly consists of a heater, cathode, control grid, accelerating and focusing anodes. Cathode is indirectly heated to emit electrons. These electrons are then passed through the control grid. The control grid has a centrally located hole, coaxial with the axis of the tube. A negative voltage is supplied to the grid. This negative charge repels electrons and generates a narrow beam. Thus, 
By controlling the negative voltage applied to the control grid, we can control the intensity of the beam. This electron beam is then passed through a set of accelerating and focusing anodes. These anodes are supplied with high positive voltage and increase the velocity of the beam and keep the beam focused. Thus, by controlling the positive voltage applied at anodes, the focus of the beam can be controlled. The next section is deflection plates. A focus beam with a very high velocity is then passed through X and Y deflection plates. These are nothing but horizontal deflection plates and vertical deflection plates respectively. The forces on both plates are controlled such that the waveform will be displayed on the screen. The last section is the phosphor screen. The focused, accelerated and deflected beam is then made to strike the inside part of the CRO screen with a very high velocity. The inner side of the screen is coated with a special type of phosphor. This layer converts the electrical energy into light energy. Thus, whenever an electron strikes the screen with a very high velocity, it generates a bright spot on the screen and the beam moves so fast that it appears as a waveform. Let's study the technique of measurement of voltage and frequency from a displayed waveform. To measure voltage and frequency, we have two knobs on the front panel of a CRO as volts per division and time per division. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. We will first see how a voltage is measured. Whenever a waveform is displayed on the screen of a CRO, the voltage is always measured as peak-to-peak -peak voltage scaled on the y-axis. Following procedure is followed while measuring the voltage. Count the number of divisions in the vertical direction, y-axis, which corresponds to peak-to-peak -peak value. Let's assume it's four divisions. Note the position of volt per division knob. Let's assume it is at position 1. Thus, it becomes 1 volt per division. Calculate the peak-to-peak -peak voltage as follows. Peak-to-peak -peak voltage is equal to number of divisions into volts per division value equals 4 into 1 equals 4 volts. Thus, in this case, we have peak-to-peak -peak voltage equal to 4 volts. We now measure the time period and frequency of a waveform. As the voltage is measured peak-to-peak -peak on y-axis, the frequency or the time period is measured for one complete cycle on x-axis. Following procedure is followed for measuring the frequency. Count the number of divisions for one complete cycle of the signal in the horizontal direction x-axis. Let's assume it is equal to four divisions. Note the position of time per division knob. We have two ranges for time per division as milliseconds and microseconds. Let's assume it is at position 1 millisecond. Thus, it becomes 1 millisecond per division. Calculate the time period of a signal as follows. Peak-to-peak -peak voltage equals number of divisions into time per division value equals 4 into 1 milliseconds equals 4 milliseconds. Thus, the time period of a signal equals 4 milliseconds. Frequency and time period are inverse to each other. The frequency is calculated as F equals 1 upon T. Thus we get F equals 250 Hertz. Let's study the use of a CRO for component testing. We will only see the testing of a diode. A diode is connected in series with a resistor as shown. The voltage across resistor A is connected to channel A which acts as an output as it is dependent on a diode current. The input applied to the transformer is an AC voltage. Thus, if the diode is in good condition, then it will conduct for positive half of the secondary voltage and should act as an open circuit for negative half of the secondary voltage. If the diode is in good condition, it conducts for a positive cycle only and gives zero output for negative cycle of the secondary voltage. 
if the diode is open, that is, if it is faulty, it will never conduct and we will not get any output. If the diode is faulty and acts as a short circuit, then we will get a non-zero output for negative cycle of secondary voltage also. Let's take a quick review of what we have learned in this lecture. A CRO is an electronic instrument very commonly used in college laboratories and industries to analyze the circuits by plotting different waveforms. The different blocks of CRO are vertical amplifier, delay line, trigger circuit, time-based generator, horizontal amplifier, cathode ray tube, CRT. Cathode ray tube is the heart of a CRO consisting of three sections such as electron gun assembly, deflection plates, phosphor screen. We also learned measurement of voltage using volt per division knob and measurement of frequency by time per division knob. Lastly, we studied the component testing using CRO wherein we analyzed a diode with three different patterns.